Hello all, welcome to this session of OpenMentor.net. We are going to see some introductory parts of Perl language. Perl is practical extraction and report language. To know whether Perl is installed in your machine and what is the version, from the Unix or Linux command prompt, type Perl minus V. Then it says this Perl 5 version 14 subversion 2. So it is uh, created in 1987 by Larry Wall and uh, this is a very good language, very simple language. If you know some of the shell scripting language, it is very easy for you to learn this. To start with, I am going to have a very simple file vi myperl.pl. The file extraction must be lowercase pl or uppercase pl to indicate it is a Perl version. The very first line of Perl must be hash exclamation mark slash user bin Perl to indicate that this is the Perl that is getting executed. As usual, the very first command is uh, print hello world. Okay, So you have semicolon as the end of that line and then the double quotes indicate it's a string. Now I say I'm saying print welcome. So just two lines the word print will print something on the screen. Exit that then you have to say Perl my Perl dot PL the file name. If you see here it is printing the whole stuff hello world then it printed welcome. This is an interpreter. This is not a compiler. In C program, you have to compile it, get an exe file and then execute. In this case, it's an interpreter. So you can immediately execute from the file, pretty much like shell script. Now, if I want to print these two things in different lines, all you need to do is edit the file. Here, as in C, you have to give backslash n. If you give the backslash n, it will print it on the next line backslash n. Okay. Now let me execute once again. Now you see here hello world is printed on one line. Welcome is printed on next line. So the very first thing is print something. The keyword is print. Give the string straight away. Now let us do some more thing. I want to have a variable defined. If you want to define a variable you have to simply say the variable start with dollar symbol dollar v1 equal to hello you want to print that variable print dollar v1 so you have to use a dollar symbol before again the variable can be v2 dollar v2 equal to number 4 it can be a numeric variable or it can be a, a string variable you don't have to define the type dollar v3 equal to 10. Now I'm going to say dollar v4 equal to dollar v2 plus dollar v3. Now I'm going to print dollar v4. Okay. Now let us execute this. Now if you see here, it printed hello world then I printed the word hello which was in dollar v, dollar v1 it calculated v2 plus v3 it became 14 it printed that to be very precise everywhere you need to make sure this print statements do come with the uh, backslash n symbol either you need to give the backslash n symbol right here or in the uh, in the respective lines okay you can also use, for example, I print backslash n. Okay. The same way, I can go here. I print backslash n. Now, if you execute this, you get it pretty much in the same way. There is a new line character printed before that. So, if you want to have another new line after this 14, you have to print a backslash n. 
So this is a very simple arithmetic expression and a string expression. Also, any programming language, you need to definitely have the comments. Okay. So to have these comments, you have to use hash symbol. This is a comment. Okay. Then I go here. Then hash doing arithmetic operation. So everywhere you give this hash symbol, it becomes a comment. Once you start executing, it doesn't matter. So those comment lines are ignored. There's a question on this hash symbol starting on the very first line. Hash and then an exclamation mark, as you see in shell script or in here, that is not a comment. So if hash comes separately, it's a comment. If hash comes along with that exclamation mark, it is not treated as a comment. So the very basic thing in Perl script is commenting, printing, and then basic variable assignment and doing arithmetic operations, uh, putting a line break in any of your uh, print statements. I'll end this session here. Thank you.